This program is brought to you by Emory University. I don't actually think that the future of warfare is going to be in um, genetically enhanced soldiers like Captain America. Um, the, the ethics of warfare, the part of warfare today that's becoming problematic is almost exactly the opposite. And that is people sitting in a chair in Nevada in front of computer screens running um, drones on the other side of the world with the capacity to kill people without any risk whatsoever to the human soldier running it, or at least without any direct risk. And that to me is a deeply ethically problematic um, issue. When you make killing so easy and when you remove the person so far from the sight of the killing and when people no longer see the consequences of their action, when you have to run up to another person and stab them with a bayonet, there's no question what you've just done and there's no question about what the consequences of what you've just done is. On the other hand, when you're sitting somewhere else and you drop a bomb off a drone and you may, maybe you don't even, the drone doesn't even stay around to see if the bomb hit the target because it's got something else to do, um, you've really created a kind of warfare where human um, connection to the destruction of warfare has been uh, removed at such a great degree that you begin to wonder about whether some of the natural moderating factors, the human desire n um, not to cause wanton destruction, even though we do it all the time, whether um, the kind of consideration that we give before we kill someone when we know the consequences of our actions. Will people drop the bomb rather than not dropping the bomb because the, the sense of having killed people has now become so abstract? Those are real questions about the future of warfare. Um, and if this develops to a point where lots of warfare is conducted that way, um, where our enemy is sitting in their bunkers in front of computer screens and we're sitting in our bunkers in front of computer screens, what that really means, of course, is that the soldiers who are actually doing the fighting will be, instead of the least protected people, that is, the people in the streets of Baghdad who are going to who the IED is going to hit, they're going to be the most protected people sitting in some bunker deep underground somewhere. So who are the bombs going to hit? So this kind of a strategy actually ends up protecting soldiers more and exposing civilians more than even the way warfare is being done now. So in a sense, Captain America is a nostalgic figure of a time when soldiers actually did the fighting and when enhancing the soldier him or herself, though it wasn't her, um, seemed to be the best way to improve combat. Now the worry is exactly the opposite, that the soldier in some sense um, becomes irrelevant, um, that, or at least the, the actual physical capability of the soldier. Um, gender becomes irrelevant. Uh, a woman can sit in front of that screen and press the buttons with as much skill as a man. So when you don't need the physicality of combat, um, you know, a woman's role can be equal to a man's without any concerns about those kinds of things. And, it's going, and it will change the nature of warfare and raise a new kind of ethical calculus about the way in which uh, warfare is conducted. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.